Hello everyone, welcome back to Kunju's Media. Today I'll be talking about how the earphones affect our hearing ability or how do they affect our mental health as well as our physical health and so on. Welcome to Kunju's Media. So as you all know, nowadays it has become a fashion or like, you know, a kind of stress remover for the youngsters or anybody to just you know use the earphones and listen music and moreover we are not bothered how how this affects us and we tend to you know um, use it in a very uh, high volume so some volumes with like uh, which is which is above 140 decibel are very dangerous to our ears and it can lead to permanent uh, damage of our ears so let's uh, see how the earphones will damage our hearing and how they impair our you know, speaking ability or learning ability and such. So let's move on to the video. So before understanding, let's see what is the basic structure of hearing and how do we, uh, how is the mechanism of hearing. So basically our ear consists of three parts. That's the outer ear, the middle ear and the inner ear. The outer ear consists of the pinna, the auditory canal and the eardrum. Whereas the middle ear consists of the ear ossicles, which is malleus, incus, and stapes. They are also called as hammer, anvil, and stirrup because they are shaped so. And the inner ear, which consists of cochlea. So the inner ear is solely responsible for our hearing because the cochlea consists of the you know sensitive, sound sensitive cells called as the organ of cauti, which converts the sound waves into you know electrical energy and transmit as impulses to our brain, and thereby we perceive the sound. So let's see how uh, we hear or what is the mechanism of hearing. So the outer ear or the pinna collects the uh, sound waves from the external environment and passes to the auditory canal, right? So then it uh, is transmitted to the eardrum which vibrates. So the eardrum vibrates and it causes the middle ear that is the hammer, anvil and stirrup to vibrate. First the vibration passes to the hammer, then to the anvil, then to the stirrup. And from here, it passes to the spiral shaped cochlear canal or cochlea. And these sound waves are sensed or uh, you know, taken up by the sensitive cells, which is called as organ of corti. There are a lot of fluids as well, such as the semicircular fluid inside the, uh, inside the cochlear canal, which is responsible for the conversion of the impulse. And from here, it is transmitted from the auditory canal to the brain. And our brain perceives the sound and thereby it helps us in listening. So this is how a uh, mechanism of hearing happens. As you all know, now we have a lot of portable kind of things that we can you know, depend on to listen to the various sounds irrespective of the area you are in or the kind of environment around you. So this is the basic reason why we, why we use earphones and we are not ready to you know, listen to the noise around us and we want our you know, complete, uh, complete uh, stress relief. So some people use it uh, for relieving their stress and some use it for a fashion. Nowadays, we like most of the people in the young generation are you know, more prone to use this for a very long period of time. But it's very necessary to look on or to control the exposure or the, kind, the intensity of the sound you are listening to. The sounds which are above 140 decibel can lead to, per, lead to permanent loss of your hearing ability. And certain uh, levels can, you know, gradually damage your raw hearing capacity. So let's see how this, uh, how the usage of earphones will damage or not just earphones but exposure to high level of noise can damage your hearing. So this can occur by two, two mechanisms. One is noise induced uh, hearing loss and one is non-induced hearing loss. Now in non-induced hearing loss what happens is on exposure to certain uh, levels of sound that's above 140 decibels what happens is the cochlea membrane will detach itself from the basilar membrane and will completely tear apart and the organ of corti cells will lose their sensitivity and this is like completely permanent and it's sudden change that happens whereas in a, in a condition which is noise induced hearing loss what happens is uh, when a person here uh, listens to such a sound or maybe high sound high high intensity of sound for a uh, short exposure or maybe uh, a kind of uh, an average kind of uh, sound for many years so what happens in noise induced uh, hearing uh, hearing losses the change happens gradually over weeks and years and you know 
it depends on the person's lifestyle actually so the what happens here is the cochlear cells slowly begin losing their uh, sensitivity and thereby uh, if you are a person who can hear uh, an average sound of 90 decibels to 140 decibels that uh, level reaches to some more like it's it's like about so if you are a person who, who was able to hear a 90 decibel sound and you're not able to hear that that's the change that happens gradually over years the cop so it is happens in three stages first the cop organ of corti cells which are responsible for our hearing loses its ability to uh, you know uh, listen the sensitivity is lost and second thing what happens is the these cells cannot regenerate again and thereby the sound which passes are not at all sen sensitized by your ears and in this way you cannot hear it right so this is how the usage of earphones for a very long period of time will um destroy your hearing ability but this can be controlled and we are fortunate enough that we uh, this does not take place suddenly we have symptoms that comes on our way and it's better if you uh, focus on that symptoms and try to improve right now moving on to the disadvantages of usage of earphones so basically as i said it can damage your hearing ability so apart from this there are lot of other disadvantages as well it can affect your psychological health mental health and your physical health as well so there are, so these are the things which can uh, so let me list out some so first thing is it will impair your learning ability and your speaking ability especially in children who are exposed to very loud noises they they cannot concentrate concentrate on a particular thing for a very long time and they become really disturbed and they become restless if they uh, you know try to sit on a particular thing second thing is it can disturb your sleep because it affects the secretion of melatonin which is responsible for the 24 hour i mean or the daily activities of our body so it can disturb your sleep as well because it's uh, it affects your brain and uh, the third thing is it can affect your cardiovascular system the like it can increase your bp levels and it can uh, affect your heart as well and uh, finally it disturbs you mentally right you cannot focus you cannot do your works properly and all such things so i don't say that usage of earphones is completely bad and you shouldn't use it at all like it's it's like uh, it has become a part nowadays but i think we have to control over the intensity and the time we are exposed to such kind of sound of course i know it's boring when you sit in when you travel or when you're doing a board when you're writing something which is not so interesting yeah it's uh, it's a kind of uh, stress relieving thing but i think we have we should have control over what's happening and we should be aware of how does it affect our health not just earphones while using anything we have to be aware like how well does like it's it's doing a good thing you should be also aware about what it's uh, what uh, i mean how does it disturb us or how does it affect our health in a bad way as well right so there are two sides right so you have to think about it and you should rectify it by yourself and the more for, we are fortunate enough that we have it's not a thing that happens suddenly we have symptoms for that it happens gradually so when you get the first symptom at the earliest stage you should stop doing what is not right so that's it this is all i wanted to say hope you all like the video if you did do give a like do share and do subscribe to our channel if you haven't yet and that's it hoping to see you all in my next video thank you so much for watching bye take care Please do like, share and subscribe the channel.